Hi, Danny Thompson, age 69, from Ridgeway, Colorado, and I'm here at the museum today to put this car on display. It's a car that my dad built, Mickey Thompson, in 1968, and we resurrected it and brought it back out last year, took it to the Bonneville Salt Flats in Utah and ran 448.757 miles an hour. So we are in the Motorsports Hall of Fame America at the Daytona International Speedway and this car ran last year, but it's now on display down here where land speed racing started, where it's initially started in the United States. So it's quite a pleasure to bring this car here and represent land speed racing. My dad's name was Mickey Thompson, and I think what put my dad on the map, or at least certainly made him known both nationally and internationally, was Bonneville in 1960 with the Challenger 1 that he built that had four Pontiac engines in it, and he went 406 miles an hour at the Bonneville Salt Flats. Challenger 2, which was built in 68, and then after 42 years of storage, I brought it back out. It's a streamliner. It's 36 inches wide. It's 32 feet long. It's four-wheel drive two engines, approximately 2,500 to 3,000 horsepower each, I injected Hemi's on nitromethane. We run 87% nitromethane. Uh, the front engine drives the front wheels. The rear engine drives the rear wheels. Uh, it's stopped by two parachutes. It's also got carbon-carbon brakes in case we have a parachute malfunction, which does happen. So um, that's basically the, the overview of this car. Now the engines and transmissions have been upgraded to more modern thing. We don't have any electronic traction control or anything. We, we do everything by seat of the pants, and which was, uh, that made it be a little bit harder. But yeah, so, that, so the technology, the body shape and style is all from 1968. Engine stuff has been upgraded you know, to more modern technology using drag race technology. My dad went 406.6 miles an hour in 1960 but he broke on the return run, so he never officially got the land speed record. So after all of these years to come back in his car and get the record officially for the Thompson family name, I mean, makes a hair in my arm stand up. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a big deal.